What's up everybody? How's it going? How would you find yourself? Well, so today the topic is animation and more specifically uh, we're gonna be talking about Rive. And what is Rive? Well, basically Rive is a animation tool that is coming into, into the fold here and with the big promise um, of blazing fast tiny size made for runtime um, animations. Um, if you are familiar with glowing animations, you might know more or less what I'm talking about here, but Rive seems to be a step up on that in terms of how, you know, the animations are being constructed, the process for getting those animations into our applications as well. It's a little bit different, so we're gonna be taking a look into that. In my previous video, I talked about um, material theming and how to customize um, if you're looking for Android applications using Kotlin and Jetpack Compose. If you're interested into that, and just um, I'm gonna put a link here in the video, just head on to that. But without further ado, Rive Animation. So before we go into the implementation here, let's just take a quick look into their website. And as you guys can see here, the promise is, is right there. And to be frank, like I have tested out and it is really good it's really interesting um, what these guys came up with and here the website is packed with information you guys can dive into it i'll put a link on the description as well um, and as you can see off the back we have a, a portal we have a community we have some documentation some download links um, so you know everything that we'll be looking for for something like this um, something while worthwhile noticing here is that for Flutter developers uh, out there, there is already a game kit for Flutter built with Rive, which is pretty interesting. I'll be taking a look into that uh, later on myself. If you're a Flutter developer looking to build you know, games, definitely have a look into that. Also, if you go in here into the community, um, you can see, you know, what people have already created uh, with Rive, which is pretty cool, you know, for you to get some inspiration, see what's possible, um, what people have already come up with. So, yeah, dive here into that. But uh, what we'll be talking about mostly today is how to implement Rive in Android native. Okay, so for that, let's just take a look into the documentation here. Um, and see what these guys have to offer us, right? So off the bat here is quite simple. It's pretty straightforward. You know, it's basically four steps is, um, you know, importing of the dependencies, uh, initialization uh, of Rive, uh, putting that view into our layout and then loading our animation into that, um, into that view. So let's start here from the beginning. So dependencies, um, grab those two, okay, right here off the back. Grab those two and then just plug them directly into your dependencies in Cradle. Already have them here. So once you plug them in, sync your project, and it's done. Next, um, after that, you have the initialization part. And here you can choose uh, two options. You can directly put this into your Android man class or you can, um, you know, initialize directly on your activity. Um, in this video, I will be using the activity side of things. So let's take a look into that. So the first part here is just to copy this um, first get instance. So we're gonna create an instance of it. Let's go back here. Let's dive into our main activity. So let's hit that. Okay, there you go, good to go. Now, Next part is once we have an instance, we need to initialize it. Makes sense. So let's grab doc and init. Let's plug it into it. Here the contacts. We can just pass an activity contacts and that should be good enough. Yep, that that's it. That is for the initialization. Now, um, once you have that done, the third part is is layout. Um, here we're going to be using you know XML layout view. So and I already talked about as well the different types of, um, you know, how you can get those animations into that view. You can do it directly from, you know, a file on your app um, storage, 
or you can, you know, uh, um, download it directly from the internet and run time correctly. In this case, we're gonna just use a file directly from, you know, our application. So the view is right here. Um, just just copy that, go into your layout, um, have it like right here. As you guys can see, the view is already here. And of course, in this case, I'm choosing um, to download it directly from, to upload it directly from the raw files. So I already have an animation here. How can you guys get a hold of this uh, of this file? It's pretty simple. You know, just hit this URL right here, and you can see, and uh, you should download it right away. Oh, let me see what I did wrong. Of course. <laughs> There you go, and there you go. It should already be downloaded into your download folders. Okay, so once you have that file and you have plugged your view into your layout, you know, make sure that you load it into your drive um, um, resources, and that's it. You're basically good to go. So let's give this um, this puppy a run. Let's hit the run and see what we can get. And as you guys can see, it's it's pretty straightforward, you know, like, and once you have all, all the pieces together, run your app and uh, let's see what we can get. Okay, well, I got nothing. So <laughs> let's see why is that. And of course, I forgot to set my, uh, my content view here. That's okay. Let's just grab our layout and um, and there you go, let's run that again. Oh yeah, make sure here guys to initialize it before you set your content view, otherwise you can run into a bug. So yeah, there you go. As you can see, it's a little bit of a jaggering happening here, but this is because of my system, not the animation whatsoever. And there you go, pretty simple, pretty smooth, and um, I might be typing next into how to create um, animations use, using Rive, so watch out for that. If you like the video, um, please give a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, you know, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. And yeah, catch you guys next time.